So one of the easiest ways you can speed up your workflow within Figma is to learn as many keyboard shortcuts as you can. So today I want to introduce to you 10 keyboard shortcuts that I use on a regular basis that will help streamline your design in Figma. All right, so one of the first shortcuts I want to show you in Figma is certainly one of the easiest. However, it's the one that probably used the most and that is T for text. Uh, so as you see here, the text tool is now highlighted. And once I have my text tool enabled, I can then click, drag and drop and start typing out text as needed. As you can tell with designs, you're constantly laying out content. So the text tool keyboard shortcut always comes in handy. All right, now the next one is going to be for drawing a square or rectangle, you're going to need to hit keyboard shortcut R. So hit the R key on your keyboard and you can then click, drag, and begin to draw a rectangular or square shape. If you hold down your shift key while you're clicking and dragging, it will keep a square proportion or without the shift key, you can sort of freeform and draw any shape rectangle you wish. All right, now the next one is if you want to draw a circle or a oval, this is going to be the keyboard shortcut O. So go ahead and hit the O letter on your keyboard and again, click and drag and you can create an oval shape. Now, just like the rectangle tool, if you click and hold the shift key while you are dragging your new shape, this will create a proportional circle. However, let go of that shift key again and you can draw whatever freeform circular oval shape you wish. All right, now the fourth shortcut I wanna show you uh, is one that I sort of got used to coming from Adobe programs and that is scaling objects. So normally in Adobe, if you're familiar with Adobe programs, you transform and scale objects, right? And so that it allows you to enlarge an object proportionally. Um, and in Figma, the way that you do this is by selecting any object uh, on your design and hitting the letter K on your keyboard. Now this is going to enable that scale tool for you. And all you have to do is click and drag the corners of your selection and you can scale your text, your object, whatever it might be, up and down. We can do the same thing with images. Hit the image, click K, and now it's scaling it proportionally, larger, smaller. All right, now the next keyboard shortcut is for creating an auto layout. Auto layout is a Figma specific uh, tool that you can use to group items together and create proportional spacing and layout to that element so that when you edit that element, add pieces to that element, it's consistently going to keep the same proportions to it overall. So in order to enable and use auto layout, we're going to use the keyboard shortcut shift plus A. So we're gonna use this example of a mockup I created of these two buttons, I wanna create an auto layout so that these two buttons uh, are joined up together and we have consistent spacing in between. So I'm gonna select my two buttons, then hit Shift A. And as you can see here, we've got a new frame in our panel here on the left. So these are now part of an auto layout. Now what we could do is then Shift and click to select another selection on our page and we're going to make this whole area an auto layout as well. So we'll select them all together and click hit shift plus A again. So now you can see we've got an auto layout of the entire layout. We've got all auto layout of the subtext with the H1. We've got an auto layout of the buttons. Um, so now we can control this layout much easier and just by hitting shift plus A. All right, now when you do have a lot of nested auto layouts, it can become kind of a pain in the butt to click several times to edit maybe uh, a text box within an auto layout that's nested. 
Uh, well, the next keyboard shortcut I'm going to show you is going to allow you to bypass all those clicks and edit text within an auto layout uh, with just one click. So we'll use this as our example. As you know, we just created multiple auto layouts with it. So in order for us to edit this text, normally we have to click it, double click, double click, and then double click again. That was six, seven clicks at least. But instead, we can hold the command key and click once. And now we can edit our text box directly. No need to do all the extra clicking and find the nested element. Just command, click, and you're there. All right, now another command that I use with my keyboard all the time is by holding shift and clicking multiple objects. So say I wanted to select all of these three things together. Well, if I do this, it's going to also choose the background and I don't want it to do that. I really just want to select the elements on top of the background. So if I click one, then I hold shift and hold it down. Then I can click the button while holding shift still and now click the image. Then you can let go of shift and now you have all three of these objects selected together. So remember, just hold shift as you click and it'll allow you to select multiple objects at once. All right, the next keyboard shortcut that is a pretty nifty shortcut that took me a while to learn. I uh, didn't know this existed for quite a while, but it is to do with adjusting the opacity of any element. So I'm going to select this background purple box here. And as you see on the right hand side, we're at 100 percent opacity. But say we wanted to lower that opacity and see what it looked like at different percentages. Well, if you just select that object and then use the numbers on your keyboard by hitting seven, now your opacity is set to 70%. You can do the same for all the numbers. So if I put two, now it's at 20%, nine, 90%, and so on. Now zero sets it to 100 and double zero sets it to zero. So it's a quick and easy way to really test out some opacity on the fly with your designs without ever having to touch the panel on the right hand side. Now as you're working in a, in a design in Figma, you might want to push objects behind or in front of another, right? Well, there's a keyboard shortcut for that. Now there's two different ways you can approach it. If you simply want to push an object backwards by only one layer at a time, then you're going to hold command and hit the left bracket. As you see on the left hand side, I hit it once again and again. It's only going layer by layer. Now we can do the opposite, hold command, hit the right bracket. We could push that object back forward. Now, sometimes we want to push it really far back because there's too many layers in our design and it would take too long to sit here and hold command left bracket until we reach the layer that we want. Instead, all we have to do is hit the left or right bracket and that left bracket is going to push it all the way down to the bottom of our frame below all layers. And the right bracket is going to put it all the way to the top of all the layers in that frame. So we'll go ahead and hit left bracket. And as you can see, it went behind everything. And it's at the very bottom of our list here in our frame. Now I hit the right bracket, it's going to jump that object all the way to the top of every layer in that frame. All right, now the last keyboard shortcut I want to show you was something I was struggling with within Figma. And that was when I wanted to resize a frame uh, so that my canvas right was a little bit larger. Say I'm adding a section here and I need more room to push everything down within this frame. I need the ability to drag this frame down and be able to move everything with it. Well, when I did that, as you can see here, these orange icons suddenly got dragged down with it. Um, sometimes if you've got specific layers within your frame that are sort of connected with it, you're going to notice that as you drag to resize your frame, everything's going to come with it. So instead, if in order to not affect any other layer on your frame, hold command first and hold it down and then click and drag and 
edit the size of your frame. As you can see, nothing on my canvas is moving whatsoever, including those icons. All right, so that was uh, 10 keyboard shortcuts, maybe a couple extra I threw in there for you, that I use on a regular basis when I design in Figma. Hopefully this will help you speed up your design flow in Figma. Thanks for watching.